<laughs> okay guys, welcome to another video. Now, don't expect anything fancy in this one. Um, I'm upstairs in my games room. Uh, just playing some games on the uh, SNES Mini. I've got to say, since I bought it, I've only used it about twice. So I thought, I came upstairs tonight, I thought, what can I play? I was going to play the PS4. I thought, no, I'll put this on and just have a wee go. So, yeah. There's not going to be a lot of commentary, there's just going to be me uh, playing playing it and maybe talking occasionally. Hopefully you can see that okay. That looks alright in the camera. Let's go for the original Space Invaders. I didn't actually realise that was released for the SNES. Space Invaders, the original game. Press start. Original game mode, yeah, I don't want to play any fancy thing. Up cabinet, upright cabinet screen, black and white, black and white with cellophane. Let's go with the cellophane one, I remember playing that version. <laughs> That's exactly what happened guys, back in the day, before colour was a thing in video games, it was quite literally cellophane over the screen. Who do we start? There we go. You can't beat a game of Space Invaders. Let's see how the sound is. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Now I'm using, uh, when I bought the SNES Mini, I bought myself uh, a couple of the uh, little Pro Commander gamepad things and I've, I've heard varying comments about it some say it's great some say it's rubbish well i mean i've only used it a couple of times right enough but i've got to say ah damn it eh uh, it feels all right i don't know i mean i don't really play fighting games i don't know whether how, how it would actually be for fighting games but there's no lag at all and obviously the fact that it's uh, the fact that it's wireless as well is nice. Lovely, sorry, it's a little sound up. Now in this game, I think was it... If you wanted to be good to get a high score, if you wanted to maximise the points in the UFO, it was something like you fire 22 shots or 23 shots and you kill the... UFO in the 23rd shot and then after that it was every 11 shots, something like that. Well, I've never really bothered about it. Yep, this was the game that started it all. I know you'd say Pong, but this was the game that really... This was the game that really made people like myself sit up and take notice. Come on. <laughs> and obviously the body's moved down a, a notch. Oh, that was close. Now, are the Space Invaders slightly larger? Bugger. Slightly larger on this version. Possibly because of the sort of the screen, you know, screen size, whatever. Ah, bloody hell, tell you, it's as tough as the arcade one. I really need to try and get these wee guys at the side. This is actually <laughs> savagely difficult. That is actually really good. That is, I would say that is, is that emulated? I would say it is. Well, I don't know if emulation was a thing back in the SNES game. So let's, SNES days I should say. Right, let's reset. Did I press it properly? Reset, there we go. Right, now I've actually, <coughs> the games that 
you get with this. I mean, I've already done a look at with this. The games you get with it are, is it 23 games? Let me just go back and show you. A lot of people poo poo this, and you know what? They're an arse because the SNES Mini is lovely. I mean, look at all these games. You know, you're playing them in HD. Well, the games themselves aren't in HD, but crystal clear, beautiful presentation. You can uh, do save states, you can even reverse. You can, when you save it, you can reverse it a wee bit so that you can kind of, you know, not die. So, what when you buy it, This is what you get. These are the original games. These are the original games that you get. And the games are excellent. I mean, Contra. Let's go for a game of Contra. Yeah, I totally get it. Yeah, I mean, the SNES Mini. Like the NES Mini, when it first came out, it was selling for daft money. I think that... I don't know how easy they are to get. I think there's certainly been a lot more for sale. So you should, if you really wanted one, you should be able to pick up one for cost price. I think it was 70 quid. And I would say it is 70 quid well spent. I took it along to the, the computer club and we basically, uh, we ran this alongside the proper SNES. And the games that slow down in the real SNES slow down in this. So yeah, people say, oh, but it's emulation. Well, the emulation is absolutely spot on. Right, let me get the controls right. Jump, shoot. Right, okay, jump, jump, shoot. Right, got you. This is a great game, this. Really, really difficult, but it's got some amazing levels. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Homing myself. Watch out for the dog. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> I'm warning myself and then not even doing what I'm telling you to do. Right, let's continue. I think you can play uh, two players at the same time, which would make it a wee bit easier. But yeah, the, the, you know, this is as good as the real SNES, honestly. Don't listen to these purists that go in about, oh, it's not the real thing. Of course it is. Yeah, it might not be made of the same technology, but it's made by Nintendo and it plays exactly like a real SNES does, except it looks a million times better, so. My goodness, that was the quickest game ever. Let's go for one more shot. But yeah, you know, <laughs> technology moves on. So, so what if it's emulated? It doesn't matter. You know, the point is, it's a real, it's an official Nintendo product. And it plays the games perfectly. And for 60, 70 quid, you're getting excellent games displayed in HD and you can easily add your own games like I've done. Oh, bloody hell, that is tough. Right, let's try and not lose this. You fuck it off, little dog. <laughs> God, it's even harder than remember it to me. Stop doing for the dog. Right, enough of that. That is way too hard. I'm obviously just getting shite. So yeah, if you want to change games, you just press the fire button or press the reset button. Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, let's give it a go. Oops, wrong button. What have I done there? Have I started it? Yeah, I have. Oh, no, I've gone back into the, the same game. Yeah, you get a, a wired controller with it, which is 
you know, a typical SNES uh, pad plays perfectly. I remember getting this game back in the day and it just it was incredible looking. It was hard to really hard to accept that this was actually a run on a SNES. Great music as well. Right, jump. That's all I need to know at the moment, I think. And that one. Right, A and B, okay. Cool. Gotcha. So I think the idea of this game is basically to collect the bananas and get to the end of the level. You can change who you are by pressing the A button. Out you come. That's it. It's good fun. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a stunning game, you know, I realise when you think of the hardware it's running on. Even the weather effects are excellent. Let's change the Donkey Kong. I don't think he can bounce as high, but I think he kills baddies quicker. Ah! Bugger! So this game was programmed by the guys uh, by Rare, who did uh, Night Lore, all the classic Spectrum games. I mean, even now this is a great looking game. <laughs> pity the gameplay doesn't, sorry, pity the... <clears throat> My uh, skill doesn't live up to the actual uh, standard of the game. I'm going to make an excuse and say I've got a camera in front of me, which is kind of obscuring my view. But I would be, I'd be kind of telling lies because I can see it absolutely fine. Oops. 
Get up. <laughs> yes, my skills are somewhat rusty. Right, let's move on. Let's play something different. <clears throat> Earthbound, I think that's a kind of adventure game, eh? F0. Kirby Superstar, don't remember ever playing that one. Mega Man. Star Fox Street Fighter 2. Castlevania. Ah, let's go for super goals and ghosts, that is. Tough as old hobnail boots, but let's give it a go. Put it on an easier level, I wonder. Beginner, that'll do me. Yep. Yeah. Let's go to exit. I bet it'll still be savagely hard. <laughs> yeah, this nest was a cracking machine for stuff like that, the old mode 7. Skip? No, you can't just skip it. Obviously, until it got too close, then it looked a bit pixely, but. <laughs> you know, one game I'd love to see in this nest, and I don't think you can. I don't think it was ever released, was Donkey Kong. The original Donkey Kong. The music in this is absolutely epic. See the problem with some of these games that I find, if you don't play them often, you forget the buttons. So instead of jumping, you press fire button or vice versa. Ah, run! <laughs> Ghouls and Ghosts is probably one of the most difficult video games ever. I think Ghosts and Goblins is probably just as difficult. I think. Did he shoot something? Ah, oh, bugger. Can I kill him? I don't know if I can or not. Maybe I've just got to avoid him. Yeah, graphics are absolutely awesome. Oh, bloody hell. What's in there, I wonder? Ah, that's not good. <laughs> that was definitely not good. Too hard, I think. <laughs> Mario Kart, can't beat a bit of that. Super Metroid, that's a great game. So let's try Punch Out. Yeah, it's a game you've got to play a lot. You've got to learn, you know, the sort of weaknesses. So I'm just getting my excuses in nice and early. for a new game. Right, ok. 
Okay. Championship mode, yeah. Let's go for that minor circuit. I need to try and duck or just avoid his punch. What the hell harm there? Right, how do I do my big punch? <laughs> I know there's a, a punch you can do. Is that it there? I don't know. I'm getting beat here, I think. Oh, that was lucky. Come on! I'd be the only person ever to lose after the very first round, possibly. <laughs> right, I'm going to have another go after this, definitely. time so right okay that's punch 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 and that's Yay. special punch so got it this time Quick about ducking. Yeah. How does he get his energy back? I'd like to know that. Come on. 
This time, surely. at this time. It's all about moving, avoiding his punches. Is it the big Russian bear I think it is? I don't think I've ever actually got past him. He is exactly like the uh, <laughs> the one, the first guy you fight in Frank Bruno, uh, Bruno's boxing. Not that uh, Elite were taking any artistic license uh, things at all from uh, from Nintendo. Right, what is his special move? I wonder. Bloody hell, look at the size of the sprite. That's awesome. He's literally the whole size of the screen. How do I know when he's going to do that? The secret is all about knowing when they're going to do the special moves. So I've not quite figured out how he works yet. No, I've not figured this one out at all yet. don't like is how it can he pauses when he does that stupid stuck in his toilet thing. Go on, have it. Does that mean he wins, does it? I think it is. Ah, bugger. I'm going to give him another go, actually. This is an excellent game, I've got to say. Right, so I think the secret is to build up your... Build up the sort of power thing. And then just... Uh, 
Come on, eat. I'm trying to see. I just can't. The duck. Is that what I do? The duck. Let me just. Uh, Come on, do it again. Ah, duck. Right, okay, got you. Figure out when he's gonna do his uh, when he's gonna do his kind of bear hog thing. I'm gonna have to give this one more go if I can. Can I continue? Possibly not. Right. Okay. Right. That is excellent. Right, I'm gonna give give this one more go. Oh, I'll have a show off. Aye. Right, so like I was saying, that's the original games. And then, if you add games like I've done, you go into this little folder, and there's about another 200 games, I think. All presented in exactly the same way, with a nice little uh, screenshots. Neo Fighters, don't think I've actually ever played this one. I've played it on the Neo G, on no, the Aero Fighters 2, I think it was. I've played it in MAME, I didn't actually realise this was out for this NES. People always associate the Mega Drive being the sort of better uh, machine for sort of 2D shooters, but I think the SNES was just as capable. I don't know whether there was quite as many of it enough. Some awesome firepower. Yeah, I think the SNES did not have a slower uh, clock speed than, than the Mega Drive, and that's why apparently it wasn't as good at 2D. God, that was quick, let's continue. Something like that, I might be talking complete bollocks, but... It's not actually killing anything. I can't see me. Ah, right, okay, I've got to go closer. <laughs> My goodness, I am getting terrible at games. Let's try. What games are in that? Williams Arcade Greatest Hits. Let's give that a go. Whoops.
<clears throat> Robotron, let's give that a go. How will that work? Let's give that a go. Right, why have we got... Why is there no sound? Wait a minute, let's... How do we... How do we come out? Let's reset. Why is there no sound in that one? I think I've heard that there are occasional games that aren't compatible with this. Um, but I've got to say I haven't found any. If that's the case though, why is there no sound in this one? There's not even any sound in this. Game options. No. That's strange. Nah, you can't really play Robotron with, uh, without any sound. I mean, it's pretty good. I think it's got a smaller, is this screen a bit smaller than arcade one? I'm not quite sure. What you've got to do is also use the buttons. Which isn't as intuitive as uh, a joystick. Right, okay, can he play Robot? You can't play Robot with no sound. <clears throat> right, I'll play one more game, I think. Hey, right, what do we want to have a go of? Boxing Legends of the Ring Breath of Fire, that's me after a curry. Bust a move. Let's try, try Championship Pool. Ah, right, okay, it doesn't like that one. <laughs> so I, I have found a game that it doesn't work with. Right, it doesn't like that one. Let's try one more that will work. Eh, what about Choplifter? Turn around. Ah, right, okay, right. Got you. You press the. Basically, you press the uh, shoulder buttons. Whoops! Did I just kill him? And I shouldn't have. Come on! I just shoot down. Bugger off. Right, so what you do is you release the hostages and then you land. And you pick them up and then you can then return to the base. And he's back again. And then you can release them. up whatever it is. Oh, let's crack on. <laughs> Bugger off. I think you have to shoot them, the little huts. Yeah, and that releases more guys. Seems a bit strange that to rescue the guys you've got to destroy the, the little house that they're in. Unless of course they're, they can't get out. Maybe that's it. Hey, here we go. Right, let's 
just get back to the base. <laughs> anyway, that's quite enough, guys. But listen, like I say, is, um, there's a lot of people poo-poo the snace money. If you can get one for 60, 70 quid, I think it's a bargain because, I mean, you're, you're not only getting 23 games with it, you can quite easily put your own games on it. And they're all, they all look gorgeous. They all play perfectly. All right, there's one or two. I mean, the couple, there's one that didn't work. But, you know, even, even just for the 23 games, probably 20 of these 23 games are 20 of my favourite SNES games. So I think you're getting an absolute cracking deal. Anyway, guys, that is it. As usual, thank you very much for watching.